Hello guys, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome back to episode number 7 of KMA's Hardcore Survival. I almost said KMA's Jam, just out of habit. But no, I'm doing Minecraft Hardcore Survival. I die, that's it of the series. And so far we have got everything I need except for food. We are in dire... It's, there's no food here. Nothing. No food. So that is what we are going to do. I have four and a half haunches left. We are going to get some food and hopefully there's no creepers like right here. There is a creeper over there. So let's move over here. Yeah, you see me. I don't see you. Oh, actually, I was heading in this direction. I'm going to actually, now that it's daytime, I'm going to stop running. You're not following me. Oh, I got to... Because... Um, I do have serious issues with food right now, and I need to get some. And no, I'm not going to kill bunnies, even bunnies with red eyes, because they're really hard to kill. <laughs> I may have to kill you later, but right now, no. So... The problem without having food right now is my, if I get hurt, I won't recover any health, so I'm in a bad situation. But I was so desperate to get away from that cave system I was in that I kind of ran all night last night through the tundra um, and survived obviously because I'm still here hi <laughs> um, but I used up all the rest of my food in that run and I honestly thought I had some more but I'm not getting too far I'm on a cold beach must be uh, New England or something. But we don't have frozen water like that on our beach. So bear with me. It's so hard for me not to run. You know what? I should just make a boat. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to make a boat. And run around out here in the ocean because I don't think I use food haunches if I do that I don't think oh I even got a crafting table excellent this, hopefully I have some wood yes some wood let's make us a boat let's take this just in case we need it and we gotta go get some food oh yeah this is how boats work okay <laughs> um, see, I don't think I use any food things to boat around at all, which is good. Especially seeing that no food is shown. Plus, I would like to get out of this tundra area. Too bad squids don't give off food. I just had an image in my head of me <laughs> looking at the camera as I'm dying of starvation with half a heart left going, goodbye, it's been a nice life. So hopefully uh, before that happens and I start starving to death, <laughs> we'll get some food. I have... um. Starved to death. It's been a couple of years since I've starved to death. And no, actually, I didn't die. I actually, I actually lived. I wasn't. I got lost in the Nether without food. Don't ever do that. That's just not cool. Hmm. I'm thinking to myself right now. The idea of large biomes was not a good idea. But 
it is making it interesting. I could stop and get some wheat and stuff, but that's just not cool. I don't want to just be heading. Okay. I'm heading south still. I don't want to be heading <clears throat> oh, north back towards where I was. I really want a cow. Because then I can make my enchanting table. Maybe we can get an ocean monument. I think they nerfed the amount of ocean monuments that are spawned in 1.10. Maybe they did that in 1.9. But no, I have a 1.9 world. I think I started in 1.9 and there's ocean monuments all over the place. But in 1.10, I think they nerfed it a little bit, so they don't show, they don't spawn as much as they used to. The hills are alive with the sound of water splashing. Oh. Lots of squid. Is that why there's so many squid? Because there's no food on land? For reals? Man, Tundra life is hard. I'm also thinking maybe I'm just, you know, loading up the world so fast that there's not enough time for things to spawn. I see something moving over here. No, it's just grass type of grass too. Not the grass I like. This is crazy insane how big this tundra is. And is, do all tundras not have food or something? I don't know. My jams world, I, I've said this before, my jams world, um, was spawned in a tundra and I wasn't too happy about that <clears throat> I mean it, it, the snow I love the way the snow looks when it falls in Minecraft but other than that the tundra is nothing well tundra is nothing yeah I mean I've gone probably where's my coordinates now Since I've been looking for food, I've gone two to three thousand blocks. Mm -hmm. Damn! I shouldn't be having to go this far to get food. This is rather annoying. And basically, I'm not even really looking for food right now. I'm just looking for a different biome other than tundra or taiga sheep would be nice so I can get oh I should have stole that bed what an idiot the igloo had a bed in it I should have stole it so I could sleep off the night well and I'd take anything a desert anything I'd even take a planes uh-huh actually that's what I'm hoping to get I like seeing all the sand but the sand has snow on it my cat is appreciating me speaking in the room all by myself to myself and not paying attention to him <sighs> I guess I'm gonna stay out here there well, that does light things up that's kind of cool I uh, put a torch in my hand and it lights everything up around me <clears throat> 
I haven't tried this other trick. Um, I guess if you go on the edge of a ravine and you throw torches in, they're like glow sticks. They glow up. They make they lighten the bottom of the ravine. So if you're trying to see if there's any good uh, ores or anything down in a ravine, you can throw some torches into it and it will light up the bottom, which is rather cool. I wonder if that happens in the water. Come on, mouse. I don't know. But I'm all discombobulated now. Come on. Come on, guys. Show me something other than Tundra. I'm just like this big, big lighted thing out in the middle of the water here. <laughs> Yes, that's right. The mobs are spawning. The moon is almost full. Oh, werewolves are there. Oh, my cats are fighting. Salem! Salem! Hey, come on. Stop beating up the other cat. I have a black cat named Salem. How original was that? I used to deliver pizzas, and I delivered um, pizzas to a a vet. And I guess um, mother cat had laid a whole, you know, given birth to a whole bunch of cats, obviously, um, and then proceeded to get hit by a car and die and so the people rescued the litter and brought him to the vet and uh, Salem was one of those cats and I delivered pizza to the vet and they were all in this little pen and I had to wait a couple of minutes for the lady to get money and so of course you gotta play with the kittens <laughs> And I go back to the pizza place, and I go, oh, wow, those, this place has some kittens for free. You know, you just, whatever. And um, it would be nice to have a kitten, but I, I'm not going to get one unless I have a really cool name. I said, so unless you can tell me a really good name for a cat, um, I'm not going to get one. And the person I was talking to was like, well, what is it? I'm like, it's a black cat. And she's like, Salem. And where I lived then, I had just moved to from Salem, Massachusetts, so it would be like an homage from where I lived prior to that. So I thought that would be a great idea. Then I found out later that the talking cat and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I think it is, um, is Salem. Black cat. Salem! Wants to be heard. I just fed you guys, gave you water. What's up, Salem? How you doing? Oh, could we go and be going to a different type of um, area now? Come here. Oh, God. <laughs> All I'm going to say is one of her legs is pointing straight up in the air and she's cleaning herself. So where is she cleaning? I guess you're not going on camera. She is fixed, so, but I think she has moments of heat, and I think that's what her problem is. Well, this trip has been extremely exciting. Sarcasm. But it's been nice to get out of the cave for an episode or two. But I need to find a place to settle down. Build some farms. Yeah. Now I'm being attacked by cats. If the camera of, of my face gets obscured, it's a cat's tail waving in front of it. <laughs> 
so if you see fur blocking the camera on my face, it's a tail. <laughs> oh my god. Oh? 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 What? Oh, I thought I saw grass. I thought I was looking at planes over there. This is sad. How far have I gone now? Oh, we're almost back to where I started. So, what, am I going north now? East? Did I, like, do a U-turn or something? I don't know if I'm back to where I started. I'm completely lost. Just looking for something other than... A snow biome. Okay. That's it. I'm just gonna go across the ocean. Because it just seems like there's tundra and that's it. Here. Please, something other than snow. I'm so sounding like a little whiny baby. Okay. We're heading west. We'll, we'll do the Kurt thing. It works for Kurt, it will work for us. But it never did work for Kurt, did it? He never did find a far lands. I'm on water, taking some water. It's actually Sunday and I'm getting ready for work. It seems like every time I get take a day off during the week, my punishment is that I have to work Sundays and that is today. Sundays, at least at work, are a lot easier than other days. Um, it's only like a five hour day, but it's a little bit easier than um, Casing a route and delivering a route, all I'm doing is delivering packages, which is fine, but the hard part is getting all the packages in the right area of town and split it up between eight or nine people to do it. So that's what I'll be doing today, is delivering packages, then I'm going to be finishing my super secret project that I spoke about in the last episode or the episode before that, because luckily I've been able to get a few episodes in here. So I'm just going to head towards the moon. See if there is a dark side of the moon, really. There is no dark side of the moon. No, if the body I ain't. My English accent isn't too good. So I wonder if in mega biomes or extra large biomes, if... <clears throat> if that is true with the oceans. I don't see why it wouldn't be. But hopefully that this will get us as fast as possible away from anything that is tundra into something that is not. So I'm just going to continue going straight until I find something. So I'm going to speed up this footage right now um, until I hit land again. Okay? So speed it up. Aha! This is what I've been looking for. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Oh, that's a cave. <coughs> a 
excuse me. And there's food. But unfortunately, we have run out of time for this episode of Hardcore Minecraft. Minecraft Hardcore. Now it looks like we can get our food situation done, and I guess I do have trees, so I can spam some trees. So, oh, and I got wool. Excellent. This is where I want to be. This is, yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I'm going to be. So, peace. I love this. I'm finally in a place where I can build or, you know, get some resources together and build some farms. So, enough of the caves, enough of the traveling. Now we can really play the game. Thank you for watching this episode. Have a great day. This is Keith from KMA's Corner. Hit the like button. Subscribe to me. Tell your friends about me. If you like it. If you don't, don't tell your friends about me. If I suck, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm doing this for fun, so watch if you want. Don't watch if you don't. But I prefer if you do, because it's more fun to make these when some people watch. So have a great day. Peace.